Next speaker is Olga Dubois. Olga is an IT professional with more than 10 years experience in various industries. Olga joined Psychometra uh, to help companies to benefit from the last evolution of psychometrics. Psychometrics is a field of study where psychology meets data science. And uh, she will talk about the fact whether talent identification is an art or a science. Good afternoon. First of all, I would like to thank uh, Corina for her presentation. I will continue the topic, but in slightly different direction. <laughs> so I am glad to be here and to s speak about the unconscious bias. But first of all, I would like to ask who from this uh, audience knows what psychometrics is about? Quite a lot. So, uh, psychometrics is the field of study where data science meets psychology. And the main goal of it is uh, um, construction and validation of assessment methods. And uh, this is, uh, these assessment methods are meant to measure people's characteristics. Attitudes, abilities, knowledge, uh, psychological traits. So, all the things that are not even possible to measure and to observe directly. And this is what we do at Psychometra. We construct uh, uh, measurement techniques, online tools that helps uh, companies to identify talents in the recruitment process. So the most critical choices that we do in business are related to people. And such choices are not easy to do. They are challenging. Because even when we want to be uh, objective and when we want to, to think that we are doing rational decisions, it's not always the case. Because very often our mind is a subject to our stereotypes, habits, prejudices. This is what is called unconscious bias in the occupational psychology. Because what happens when we meet new people? We see them quickly, we draw conclusions, and then we start interacting based on these uh, fast conclusions, first impressions. And then we don't take really time to check if this were true or not. So I would like to share with you some examples on, of studies on the unconscious bias topic. So in the first study, uh, data showed that uh, during the interview process, people who were native speakers were considered more competent than non-native speakers just because of their accent. In the other example of the study, data showed that uh, candidates who were interviewed on the rainy day were, got lower scores than ones who were interviewed on the sunny, beautiful day. This is the data. <laughs> and in the third study that I would like to mention, the interviewer who were right-handed tended to prefer candidates who were sitting on his right rather than ones who are sitting on his left. So these are just some exotic examples. There are plenty of uh, others, more common ones. We all have biases. This is normal. This is how our, our brain works. The, these biases are, are based on everything, gender, religion, hate, weight, race, whatever. But what is important is uh, to be aware of these biases. So we, to, the first step to manage our biases is to know about them. This is where data can help us. And this, uh, in Psychometra, we uh, created our unbiased and culture-free tests that we provide on our online platform. And with these tests, uh, we help managers to build more efficient and more diverse teams. And with uh, such tools, uh, in, in the decisions. So to conclude, let's do one thing together. Uh, please now look at the screen and uh, try to see something in this picture. What, what do you see? Can you recognize some object? What? Yes. Something else? Yeah, so there is a cow in this picture. We cannot see it when we don't know it. But the thing is that once we know there is a cow, 
even there is where there is no highlight anymore, we cannot avoid seeing it. Every time we see this picture, we see this cow now. Can you see this? And this is what I would like to bring, like you to bring back home from this presentation today. Once we know our biases, we cannot act as if we didn't anymore. So talents are difficult to find. So let's not miss them behind our prejudices and stereotypes. Thank you very much for your attention. <laughs> and if you are interested in this subject or in what psychometry is doing, please don't hesitate to contact me later in the day. Thank you. Have a nice day.